Hey guys, it's me, the Dumb Fanatic, and welcome to week 10 of the Pokemon Premier League. Now, I will have hopefully uploaded week 9 before this goes up. <laughs> a dreadful game against Kino where we got 5 0'd by Entei, because Power Herb Solar Beam is a thing. Um, I had to bounce back. I had to win to avoid relegation or the threat of relegation. Um, and it was such a tough game against Kino. Not Kino, sorry. Against Colton, aka Shadow Gaming Hub. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much because this was played on Showdown because unfortunately Colton can't play on Wi Fi with his current situation he's in. Anyway, let's get straight into this. He leads off with his Crocodile. I love for Mega Slowbro because I figure, well, Mega Slowbro leads off pretty much, well, pretty well against everything on his team, apart from Venusaur, which I didn't really expect him to lead with. He does lead off with Crocodile. Expect the switch into Jelson, expecting the uh, pretty obvious school. But I carry Toxic this thing. I could have probably carried uh, Shadow Ball, but I figured Toxic would probably be better in the long run. Plus, I can Toxic other things. Even though he has three immunities uh, on his team, he probably wouldn't have wanted to have risked taking school that early on. Now, he goes for his own Toxic here. I kind of figured that Heliosk would be my best play because I'm immune to both his stabs because of Dry Skin and Normal Typing. Um, and Toxic doesn't really matter too much. Looking at his team, Heliosk obviously helps, um, but it's not the most important thing on my team. Uh, Mega Slowbro, Weavile, and uh, Tornado seems to pre be pretty important at the moment. I'm going to click uh, Hyper Voice. I am Choice Specs. It's going to do damage to pretty much anything. Um, now, here, I, I don't want to stay because obviously this thing can set up screens. Um, it can't paralyze me because I'm electric type, but I don't want to set up screens and spikes and whatnot. So, besides guys, Heat Trans as soon as possible. He predicts that very nicely um, and goes out into Crookdown. Now, I'm not too worried about this thing coming in uh, very often because I have got Fortress and Mega Slowbro at max physical defense. Uh, they'll just take hits for days. As you will see, this earthquake does nothing. By the way, this replay is on slow, so I can sort of talk at a normal pace um, without having to stop every two seconds. Uh, obviously, you can see I'm leftovers there. I could have started setting up spikes here. He has got a defag uh, defagger, defogger, obviously, with Crobat. Uh, I was kind of thinking, well, if that's his only defogger, if I can get rid of that, which I should be able to relatively easily with Helios and Weavile and Mega Slowbro. I have a stack might work against uh, Colton's team. Uh, however, I do click Volt Switch to try and keep initiative. Uh, I think that the Venusaur switch was rather obvious anyway. Um, and Tornado just kind of does damage to his whole team with the spread I have. I can hit everything neutral uh, and then a lot super effective, so it, it's looking good. Uh, Jelly Bob's already down to half, which is important. Now here I pred uh, predict him to go for a recover. I also figured that, well, I probably wouldn't take too much anyway from a offensive. Uh, Jellicent, I am special, so a burn won't matter too much. I do go for the taunt and it pays off. So here he switches out, and I should have really seen this coming, because I went for the Dark Pulse. Uh, it doesn't really matter in the end, because he does bring in his Clef Key, which is good, because uh, Robin, my Tornadus, is one thing that I bought to take on Clef Key. He's seen taunt on this thing, he must have forgot that I get Prankster, and I'm going to outspeed him with my Prankster, because obviously I'm a faster Pokemon, and uh, he can't Thunder Wave me anymore. So I don't know what he plans on doing next, because he does actually decide to stay in. Uh, he probably wasn't aware that Tornado just gets Heat Wave, and Heat Wave just kills that thing, which is glorious. Probably means he was physically defensive for Weavile. Um, it was one thing that was stopping Weavile, as well as Arcanine, otherwise Weavile just took a dump on Colton's team. Um, I do switch out here though, and I figure that Mega Slowbro will take anything super, uh, even like Knock Off Crunch. I done a calc on Jolly Choice Band Crunch, and it barely does, it just does half. So, if he wants to do that and I go for a Scald in return and kill him, that's absolutely fine. Scald had like a 50% chance to kill without any special attack investment, which was glorious. Uh, but I figured I could slack off there. Keeping Mega Slowbro at maximum health, or big health, will be very important. Uh, he does bring in Jelly Blob, but he decides to switch out here. Uh, probably expecting me to switch out, which I believe I do, because obviously the matchup against the Ghost isn't too good for me, but I also need to keep, um, I need to keep Mega Slowbro healthy. Now here, I probably, in hindsight, should have just gone for Hyper Voice. Uh, it's easy to say that now because I've seen the set, plus I am Choice Specs, so it would do good damage. Uh, I think that's 40% to max special defense anyway. But as you'll see, this is not your normal specially defensive slash physically defensive Venusaur. He gets for the substitute. At this point, I started to get pretty nervous. I was like, Oh no, what's he going to do? I have nothing for this. And he is for the Swords Dance, which just kind of made me go, whew, at the time. I had to get out of there because I couldn't break this thing's sub. So I go for the Volt Switch again, and I bring in Slowbro. Knowing he's physical, uh, I can pretty much live any hit from this thing. And 
Mega Slowbro just kind of establishes why it's such a fantastic physical wall. Plus two base like 120 power stab move does 65%. Super effective, if I didn't say that. Um, obviously, I'm not going to stay in. I need that thing. I can recover on Crocodile and potentially Arcanine, depending on its set. Uh, so I decided I'm going to sack off Heliolisk. While he has obviously got Crobat and he has Jellicent around, I have things that can deal with them relatively easily. So uh, Vinto goes down. Unfortunately, sliding down the MVP race here. He done better in the first part of the season. Second part, maybe not so much. In comes Tornadoes, puts massive pressure on the rest of his team. Uh, he does switch out, obviously, because he knows I have the Air Slash. I, I'm glad I ran it over Hurricane in the end. Uh, Air Slash. There's a good amount to that thing, and I was a bit scared here that I would miss my Air Slash again, so I do decide to go for the Dark Pulse. It was probably pretty obvious. If I'd have gone for the Air Slash, it would have been much better because he hasn't got anything that really appreciates Air Slash anymore. Actually, he has nothing that appreciates Air Slash anymore. So, um, Dark Pulse was really stupid there, but it doesn't matter. I still have Tornadoes at 100% health. Now, the Stone Edge, I, yeah, it's pretty obvious because, well, he needed to go for Stone Edge. It hits Weavile. But it doesn't hit Slowbro or Fortress for much. He actually misses it in the end, though, which is uh, rather nice for me. Now, he obviously expects me to uh, want to switch out here. He goes for Stone Edge, just negligible damage. Negligible? Negligible? That's not even a word. Negligible damage. I gave it the Volt Switch, and he stays in. So it's a good predict prediction. Now, I did click Spikes this turn. I actually pressed Cancel, and then remembered actually we're not allowed to use the Cancel button. So uh, I had to go for Spikes again. But I did click Volt Switch after I initially changed my mind. Um, this thing was pretty obviously coming in. Um, but I actually call his bluff here. He knows I have heat Tran. It's an obvious switch. I'm going to stay in. Um, he actually goes to Bulldoze. I'm carrying Earthquake. And this is non-invested. It just puts over half. Proving this is an offensive uh, Arcanine. Uh, even though it had Bulldoze. Probably kind of obvious it was. However, Bulldoze would have been nice for heat Tran, of course. Here I think, you know, I've got a layer of spikes up. Uh, Fortress probably doesn't help too much. Well, so I thought at the time, then I realised that Mega Slowbro was in such low health, and I was like, oh, oh dear, that's bad. Can't go into that thing, because this thing, I'm very wary of this thing having Powerhead Solar Beam after last week with Kino. Um, so I go out into Weavile, knowing Knockoff will kill this thing, and that if you wanted to bring in uh, anything else, it would just die the next turn. Um, because I then outspeed Choice Scarf, Crocodile, Croc 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 which is what I expect it to be. Obviously, because I'm naturally faster, uh, I can take the crew back pretty nice. Uh, Knockoff will probably kill, no, will kill Arcanine from the range health attack. And it's an offensive Venusaur, so Ice Crash will probably kill it after a knockoff switch in. Uh, I do switch in on the stone, 16%, nothing. Knowing I'm on 19% means I can live another one. He misses the Stone Edge, which is crucial. It wouldn't have killed me, but it does mean I can get two slack offs off, God English, uh, instead of one. Uh, so I'm now at full health again, and I know that for a fact as Cannibalis comes in, looking at it now it probably didn't matter actually, but I'm at 100% health. Knowing I can live a plus two power whip means I can just stay in safely and just go for a uh, a power uh, psychic, that's the one. I wasn't threatened of him having a special grass attack, he's obviously revealed substitute source dance power whip, I'm expecting his last move would have been an earthquake, I'm obviously walled by Heatran. Uh, in comes the Coco, he, he can't do much to me. Uh, he goes for the knockoff here. Uh, it, it does nothing. He should have probably been running Crunch. Obviously, Knockoff would have helped the rest of my team, but um, Crunch would have done more in the long run. Uh, he keeps going for the Knockoff. I go for the Slack Off. Um, I could have probably gone for another one there, just to make Slowbro that much harder to break down, but looking at his team now, he has an Arcanine and a Crobat. Now, there is no point for me to stay in here. I can just switch in Tornadus. I don't need it anymore. I, I don't want to risk the fact that there's a Solar Beam on this thing, plus we haven't seen this item yet. Or the fact it doesn't have leftovers, which means it has a different item. Um, so, yeah, Solar Beam. There it is. I'm so glad that I, like, yes, right, this could, this could have Solar Beam. I need to get out of there. Uh, S-Lash kills Okami, and that leaves him with Crobat. And this game is pretty much mine at this point. I have a Weavile and a Mega Slowbro left. Um, but actually, uh, this, thing's, this thing's offensive by the looks of it. Um, and it's a really strange set, as you'll see. Um, but Air Slash does over 50%, so I'm like, right, this is a 4-0. But, you know, RNGs didn't really want to be on my side um, with this particular role. But I can't really argue because he did miss two Stone Edges, which really sucks. Uh, he has a Berry, which raises his special defense, which is interesting. Um, I gave the Taunt on my, this turn because I figured, well, if he tries to Roost up instead of killing me, at least this way he can't heal up anymore. But at this point, I can obviously bring in Weavile and get the kill with Ice Shard. So I do get the 3-0. 
and this does mean that I can no longer be relegated from Division 1 of the Pokemon Premier League, and I could actually technically still reach as high as like 4th place, so this season honestly, I feel has gone well, compared to last season anyway, I've got more kill, uh, more kill, more wins this season, I'm 5-5, five and five. last season I think we lost 4-7, and seven. so uh, it's a better season for me already. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video, hopefully it wasn't too bad, uh, I've been out of doing videos in Pokemon for a bit because of work and life and stuff, so uh, it's nice to be back. Uh, make sure you, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, go check out Colton below, go check out all the links below because there'll be plenty I'm sure. Uh, otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!